Hey friend, welcome back to the channel. My name is Femke and in this video today, I wanna to show you a new tool called Editor X. Editor X is a no-code visual design tool with flexible grids and full-on breakpoint control. It's an advanced web creation platform made for designers and also agencies. Using its powerful design capabilities and web infrastructure, professional creators can go from idea to design and then straight to production. Now, Editor X is currently in beta, but it was released a few months ago. And as someone who is about to redo my website, I'm always on the lookout for new no-code tools and Editor X definitely looks like something super interesting I wanna try. Now, the tool is built by the team behind Wix and they have a very impressive ecosystem of design and web tools. While it is a separate product and completely different brand, it does combine Wix's powerful web infrastructure. And with Wix's experience, I know that I'm in good hands. Just a heads up that this is a sponsored video, but you all know that I only agree to sponsorships with tools that I like and I'm really excited about. So with that said, let's jump on into the tool. So let's start first with creating a new site. Now you can start from scratch or you can choose from one of the many templates that Editor X gives you. Templates are a great way to play with the platform and get yourself familiar with how Editor X before jumping into a blank canvas. Now I've already played around a little bit with the tool, so I'm just gonna jump straight into starting from scratch. Now immediately, now we are in the workspace. This is the canvas and from here I can add elements, I can build my website, it's all very, very visual. I really like how clean and clear this tool is already. Everything is out of the way by default so I can really focus on the canvas and what I want to create. Now up here on the top left is the add elements panel and this is where I can browse from a range of different elements, text, images, buttons, etc., to drag and drop and add onto my canvas. Down the bottom here you can also add things like a blog if you want a CMS or even a store if this is an e-commerce store that you're creating. Another a really powerful thing about Editor X is that they have support for different breakpoints. So not only can I preview my design at each breakpoint, but I can also customize the layout. So whether someone's on desktop, tablet, or phone, I get all the control to organize and arrange my elements to fit nicely on that screen size. While there's some default breakpoints here at the top, I can also customize any breakpoint I want by typing it in here or dragging to resize the canvas so I get full control over any breakpoint as to what I want the layout of my site to be. So let's start designing because that's the fun part. So as I showed you in the add elements panel, here is where you can select things that you wanna to add to your design. There's a lot of pre-designed elements here that you can use as a jumping off point. So for example, if you wanted a menu, there's a lot of different kinds of navigations that you can use here. If you wanted a button, there's a lot of pre-designed buttons here and these are really great to use as a starting point. Personally, I quite like the wireframe section as like a nice uh, way to kind of get started with your design, throw in some sections, and then you can kind of customize and design as necessary for your own style and your own site. So before we add anything to our canvas, just a note here, you want to begin with a section. Now, this already has a section here to begin with. Sections are kind of like the building blocks of your website. So you wanna add a new section for each new part of your page. And sections will automatically span the full width of your canvas and within a section you can then add containers into it. Let me show you. Back here in the add elements panel, under quick add, I can select and drag and drop a container. Containers are kind of like boxes. This is where you're gonna put the elements inside of. So you can kind of think as a section as like the one big master container and then within a section you can have multiple containers to sort of control how the elements are laid out. So I've got my container here, which I'm going to expand. Now I'm gonna add some elements into my container. So let's start with an image. So I can drag and drop this image and you can see that there's absolutely no restrictions as to where I place this image. I can place it anywhere on the canvas, which is super nice. Now I'm gonna place mine over here and when I click on the image, you'll see we have this sort of action bar at the top and this action bar will kind of change depending on the element you have selected. So if I add another element, let's add a button here. In this button, for example, if I change the design, you'll see that I can actually edit the hover state of this button or the regular state. And on this image, I get some extra actions like cropping, for example. So you pretty much have just just as much control over these elements as you would in a design tool like Figma or Sketch. 
Let's add some text as well. Now you'll see with text, I can change the heading style so I can go really big or a little bit smaller. I also have control over fonts. Now let's bring up the inspector for a second. So here in the inspector, I can control not only the alignment of my elements, but also the sizing options and whether I want this element to be fixed or fluid on different breakpoints. So give me a second here to add some more elements to my design and then we could get stuck into how the breakpoints work. So now that I have my design and some elements here, let's see how it looks like on other breakpoints. So tablet, okay, some overlapping text, mobile. Okay, so let's kind of fix this up to make sure that this is appearing good on the different breakpoints. So the first thing I wanna do is group some of my elements together and stack them. And when you stack your elements together, this means that they'll kind of maintain their spacing and order and structure across different breakpoints. So I'm going to stack my text boxes and my button together by selecting them all and then clicking on stack. You can see here with my stack selected, the current width is 42%. Now, if I go to tablet, it's also 42% and it's the same on mobile as well. So just to adjust this, I'm just gonna adjust the width here to 100% and I'm gonna do the same over here on mobile. And now it's sort of full width and looking pretty good. I can actually also alter the sizing of some of these elements at certain breakpoints. So for example, this header is feeling a little bit big. So maybe when it's on mobile, I want it to be just a little bit smaller. And I can do this using this little scale text button here, which means that any changes I make to the text size here will only apply when it's at this particular breakpoint. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller here. And then now I feel like that size is looking a little bit better for mobile. And if I go back to web, it's still at that sort of H2 sizing that we initially allocated it at the beginning. Another cool thing about Editor X is that you can turn designs on your site into reusable blocks to use across your website. So it's kind of like a component, except instead of it being an individual element, it's like a collection of elements. Let's say I wanted to make this a reusable block. Now it has to be within a section, which it already is, and you can check that at any time by going to the layers panel, opening it up, and you can see here kind of the organization and structure of your page with all of the layers. So let's collect the section, and I'm gonna turn this into a master by clicking here and then saying set as master. Now I can apply this master to other pages on my website and any changes that I make to the master here is going to update and reflect across all other instances on my website. Another neat feature is style and theme management. So here I can open the theme manager and I can make changes to any of my text styles here. So let's say I wanted to change the font of our heading to Questrial it and you'll see that that immediately applies there on the actual page of the site too. Now of course you can also add more pages to your website so let's add another page here maybe I will make it my about page and here you can easily manage and maintain settings for this page like permissions, SEO and social share. Once you've added new pages it's really easy to add them to your navigation so if I go back to my home here and click on my menu I can just click on manage menu and from here, I can select the pages that I wanna show inside the menu, click apply, and then it automatically adds that page already there to my site. Now on this new page, let's add our master that we created earlier. I can just go to site masters and select the section that we turn into a master, show it to display, and there it is nice and easy on the page. Now anytime you can preview your site by clicking on preview here at the top right and here you can kind of click through as you would uh, the real live website and see how things are interacting and then also test out your breakpoints as well. So far we've been building and designing this website in quite a visual way but if you want access to a bit of code and more development tools, they do have support for dev mode, which you can turn on for your site. Now, this is great if you wanna do your own custom code or maybe you wanna to connect to APIs. I'm not gonna go super in depth or detail here today in this video about dev mode, but just know that it's there if you want access to it and need it in your project. 
And that is Editor X. So a few things that I really like about this tool is that it feels like it's been built for the designer. They're not reinventing the wheel. They're using common design language, design patterns. And so it feels super seamless as a designer to just jump in and get started straight away with this tool. Designing on the canvas feels super nice. You can drag and drop anywhere. Feels like you're in a design tool and you're not super constrained like you are with some other no code web building tools. The flexible breakpoints is really easy to use and editing it feels really nice. And because this is all built by Wix, you get access to the whole suite of Wix products like booking management system, e-commerce, blog, CMS, etc, etc. Now a note on pricing. It is free to use and publish your own live website. However, if you want to connect your own custom domain and use advanced features like accepting payment methods through your website, you do have to upgrade, but plans only start at $18 a month. All right, friend, and that is Editor X. Go and give it a try. Let me know what you think. Would love to hear your feedback, thoughts, and comments. You can leave them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in a future video. Thanks so much for watching and supporting my channel as always. Bye.